Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on pin please. So this is a fantastic little plugin which allows your players to set up pins on their furnaces, their chests, their doors, their fence gates and their trap doors. So it stops players from getting in. So the way it works, I'll show you here, I've set up a pin and if we type it in correctly it will open the door for a set amount of time. So by default that's half a second which is 10 ticks. You can, stop, you can obviously change it, make it shorter, longer. Don't make it too short though, or nobody's going to be able to get in. Um, and then we can do forward slash pp show pin to uh, actually see what the code is for the door. So if we go to this iron door, for example, and type pp create followed by a pin such as one, uh, nine, uh, two, nine, one. So a um, bit of a strange pin that, but uh, it's, uh, it's good, no one's going to guess that. If we type it in and quickly run through, obviously we weren't quick enough then. Um, there we go. So obviously stand close to the door and then quickly rush in once you uh, have typed the pin correctly. So I would recommend not using the pin 123 or 1234 or even the pin 1. Although, I don't know, will someone guess that? Uh, I don't know, maybe. But uh, there's a really cool feature where staff can use a special code to actually override any uh, um, locked item. So by default, this is a really long uh, code. It's 24311234235. I would shorten that down to something that all your staff can remember, just in case they need to get in somewhere, um, which is a really cool feature. And as I said, you can uh, change the time to keep uh, various things open. And you can also change the prefix and uh, some of the formatting colors and whatnot. So it's a really cool plugin. Uh, you can download it for free off of Spigot, I believe. Yeah, basically all pl plugins are Spigot now. So um, yeah, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.